Have to go against the king, Jerry Lawler. I wouldn't want to be in Ben Jordan's shoes today, I'm afraid. Lawler embarrassed out here, frankly, a few moments ago. As he's just picked up that now empty bucket, the present that uh, you know, Jerry Calhoun, thank you, Jerry Calhoun, for uh, pointing out that he couldn't bring that into the ring. Lawler steps in there and immediately goes to work on Ben Jordan before the bell sounds. Lawler had that bucket full of water dumped over his head by Kerry Von Erich, a present, he said, from handsome Jimmy Valiant. And then in a phone conversation with Valiant, Valiant had the audacity to hang up on it. Lawler is steamed out on the floor. He body slams Ben Jordan. Jerry Calhoun saying, get him back in the ring here. I'm going to count you both out. Lawler obliges by throwing Ben Jordan back into the ring, backs him under the rope. Jordan. Oh, he came firing off of those ropes, and Lawler was right there to greet him. He smacks him with a right fist. Lawler, again, with that right fist. No pretense about an open hand. He's just doubling up the fence and smacking him with it. Hitting him with that fist. Ben Jordan, oh, thrown out of the ring, through the ropes, rolls down onto the floor. Lawler out to get him. Now over to insult the crowd. What's he doing? Oh, yeah, I see he's picking Jordan up, takes him over to the crowd, humiliating Ben Jordan. Right fist. Hit him right there in front of him. Oh, Lawler parading him around in front of the fans and hitting him with a right fist. Knocking him down on the on the floor. Here comes Chris Champion out. Chris. Oh, look out. Lawler bringing Ben Jordan over to the table area here. Smack him. Some of it. Get out of here, champion. Oh, oh, champion. Now nailed from behind by Lawler. Not enough that he's beaten up Ben Jordan. Oh, pile driver. Stop the whole thing for fighting on the floor is what Calhoun has done. But Lawler here beating up Ben Jordan, and then Chris Champion came out simply to say, hey, Ben Jordan has nothing to do with this problem. Take it out on Jimmy Valia. Don't take it out on this poor young wrestler here. And then Lawler jumps him from behind. You better, I'm gonna teach Chris Champion that he don't mess in my business. You understand that? Well, a twisted sense of the way things are that Lawler's had for the last few weeks showing itself again here. Champion simply trying to point out the obvious that Ben Jordan had nothing to do with the problems that were caused by Law poor Lawler today. And that he shouldn't take it out on a kid who's basically defenseless at this point. He should take it out on Jimmy Basler if that's the problem. Well, he continues. Jerry Calhoun trying to get it all stopped and get him out of here. The match officially ended some time ago. Oh, look out. Ben Jordan thrown over the table, bounced off a chair down on the floor. Now Lawler over to pick up Chris Champion again. ADT's him right here on the on that floor. Now Lawler picks up the belt. Chris Champion, I don't think you're gonna want to mess in my matches anymore. You hear me, punk? Huh? Oh. You hear me? Oh, come on. Eddie Marlin out to try to get this broken up. Lawler with a desk on top of Champion, and Lawler jumping up and down on it. The desk being torn apart here by Lawler. And Chris Champion underneath. Lawler took that half-full soft drink can and bounced it off his rib cage. Oh, come on. Champion tries to get to his feet, and Lawler drops that desktop on top of him. Eddie trying to help him out of here. Lawler's 
still stalking around. Picks up part of the desk. That's our wrestling desk, the table that we've used. Here. And, and Eddie Marlin gets uh, the top of it over out of it. Uh, Lawler, you, I wondered what he was doing. He propped that thing up on the bottom rope, and then he grabbed Chris Champion and rammed his head into it. Come on. Eddie is left, hopefully, to get some more help here. Oh, my goodness. Here comes a bunch of folks, including the Southern Rockers, to help kind of clear this thing out of here. As Lawler jumped Chris Champion from behind. I don't have to go over it again. You saw what happened, and Lawler was just unmerciful in trying to hurt Chris Champion, and looks like maybe he succeeded. Now, from the looks of this audience, about 99% of them are garbage men in their daily lives. So get some garbage men in there and sweep that 